Hello, and welcome to the CVU Show. I'm Nate. And I'm Emmett, and we are happy to be back. Picture retake day is soon. Students in grades 10, 11, and 12, along with faculty and staff, had their pictures taken back in October. To date, we haven't received photo packages or school IDs. CVU understands that people are eager to get their pictures and would like to see them before picture retake on Thursday, December 9th. We've been in contact with our LifeTouch representative about the status. Although we haven't received our photos yet, you may want to go get your first pictures taken. This weekend is the upcoming school musical. It is? Yes, this Friday and Saturday. This fall's musical is Something Rotten, the hilarious mashup of 16th century. Shakespeare and 21st century Broadway brothers Nick and Nigel Bottom are desperate to write a hit play but are stuck in the shadow of the Renaissance rock star known as the Bard. When a local soothsayer foretells that the future of theater involves singing, dancing, and acting at the same time, Nick and Nigel set out to write the world's very first musical. Something Rotten was lauded by audience members and critics alike, receiving several Best Musical nominations and hailed by Time Out New York as the funniest musical comedy in at least 400 years. Showtimes are Friday, December 3rd at 7 p.m. and Saturday, December 4th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. at the CVU Theater. Purchase tickets in advance are at the door the day of their performance. General admission is $10. Children, CVU students, and faculty and staff are $8. Be sure to check the ticket site to see if the show is sold out. Masks are required. Due to COVID, there will be socially distant seating between parties with limited seating available, so reserve your tickets now. Wow, that's really cool. I'll definitely be attending, and you guys should as well. The CVU Food Shelf is currently up and running. We have an interview with Steph Volkmar about the details of the CVU Food Shelf. Uh, what is the CVU Food Shelf? So the CVU Food Shelf is a resource in the Direction Center that all students and actually staff and faculty can access. Um, and we keep it stocked with kind of basic food items. Uh, we get donations. We have little stations like this, uh, both outside the Direction Center and uh, right inside. And yeah, folks can reach out to me to access it and kind of make sure that everyone has enough to eat. What is the point of the CVU Food Shelf? Yeah, so there are some folks in our community who um, just are not as well resourced as other people and we just want to make sure that um, for our school community, everyone has their basic needs met and, you know, isn't worried about that. Um, there's enough to worry about kind of in day-to-day -day life and food should not be an issue for anyone. Uh, so we want to make sure that um, people have access to that in school. How do you access the CVU Food Shelf? Basically, you can walk into the Direction Center. You can either come ask for me, uh, send me an email, or you can talk to Heather, who is our admin assistant, and um, or your school counselor, and anybody in the Direction Center can get you connected. Thank you for your time. Very appreciated. Uh, now back to the studio. Ooh, very cool. I had no idea that was even a thing. Same here. Thank you, Steph, for the interview. Next week is Computer Science Education Week. What's that? I'm not completely sure, but we have an interview with Charlie McFadgen to help us learn about it. Thank you. I'm Diego and I'm here with Charlie McFadgen. Uh, what is your role here at CVU? I am the digital learning leader. That means I help students and teachers with using digital tools in learning and teaching. I also teach a computer programming class and advise some clubs and some other things. Uh, just to be clear, what is computer science? That's a great question. You know, computer science is a broader field than a lot of people think. It's not just about programming computers. It's really all aspects of computing. That's everything from data to, to networks to cybersecurity to the impacts, the social impacts of computing. So it's, it's quite a broad field. Uh, what is Computer Science Education Week all about? So it's a once a year we have this week. It's actually uh, always on the week that's the birthday of Grace Hopper, who was an important early uh, computer programmer. And it's just to get everybody to try a little computer science. A lot of people may know it from the hour of code. So the hour of code is this idea that 
everyone across America, across the world, should see what it's like to code for an hour. And so there's a lot of activities that have been created around it, and it's next week. Uh, next week, are we doing anything special? We are. So in addition to the hour of code type of activities that are already out there, here at CVU, we have a special activity plan for advisory. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be this, hopefully, this really neat thing where each advisory is going to create a graphic, and then we're going to put all those graphics together into a school-wide thing. So look for that in advisory next week. <laughs> um, what other opportunities are there here at CVU? So as I mentioned, we have a computer programming class. I'm pleased to announce we will have more offerings next year in, in, in terms of classes. We also have a few clubs that meet during C3. So we have a Girls Who Code club. We have a computer science club. We have a cyber patriot team, and that's a cybersecurity competition. That's kind of fun to learn about that. Um, and we also have students who do lots of independent type of work, either through Nexus, sort of on their own. Um, and I just want to say to any student out there who's interested in exploring more computer science, love to work with you and you know, find something that, that uh, works for you. Awesome. Uh, I really appreciate you coming in here and talking with us. Uh, I'm back to the studio. Thank you, Charlie, for the interview. I'm very excited for next week. Currently, there are no ongoing sports, but soon winter sports will be starting. We have an interview with Coach Uta Otley about women's basketball. Hello, uh, my name is Stanley Chan. I'm here with the CVU girls varsity basketball uh, coach U Uta Otley. And, uh, so we have a few questions for you today. Great. Right? Uh, how many, uh, first of all, let's, uh, how many years have you been coaching the girls varsity basketball? So this will be my 11th season with the varsity girls basketball team. Mm -hmm. uh, are you enjoying? Are I you love enjoying? it. Are you kidding? It's my favorite thing to do here at CVU. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It's a uh, great opportunity to work with girls and um, it's just awesome to see how they grow and mature and um, are really successful. So it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah. uh, do you think like basketball has an impact on the girls' lives? No. I do. I think um, you know you learn a lot of really important life skills when you play sports, and uh, basketball is a game that's all about teamwork and about sacrifice and about kind of contributing to something that's bigger than you yourself, which I think is always um, you know is applicable to their lives after they leave, and hopefully, um, the friendships that they develop in the program last them a really long time. Yeah. No. And. Uh, how, well, first off, how did you do last year? So last year, uh, we only played nine games. We won all of them, um, but we had a little, um, we had to withdraw from the playoffs, so we didn't get to participate in the state tournament. Mm -hmm. So we um, definitely feel like we've got some unfinished business to take care of this year, for mm -hmm. sure. And uh, when's, uh, when's the first game going to be? Our first yeah. game is December 11th, which is two, a week from Saturday. So not that long, about two weeks from now. Yeah, that's it. And well, good luck on the game. And that's it for this. And back to your studio. Wow, thank you so much for your time. There is also a spike ball tournament from December 6th to 12th. It will be $10 per team to participate and two people per team. The spike ball tournament is provided by the Rooted Organizing Community, and, will, and all proceeds will be going to the U.S. Committee for Refugees. For those of you who haven't ordered your cookies yet, the Class of 2024 Class Council is doing a fundraiser with Cookie Love. They are selling their own delicious cookie dough for you to eat raw or bake. Yes, that is right. The dough is frozen and safe to be eaten raw. Make sure to order your cookies by Friday, December 10th at the link in the description. Payment is due by Wednesday, December 15th, and cash can be delivered to room 229 during advisory. Or you can simply Venmo Steve Reinman. You can pick up your cookies at Friday, December 17th outside the Direction Center. That's all the news for this episode. Thank you for watching. It's greatly appreciated. See you next week. week.